Hi everyone, this video is a general introduction to Prusa Slicer 2.6 and some of the new tools that are available with 2.6. For more details on specific tools, check out some of my other videos in this playlist. First, to open a file to play with, click plus and choose an STL file. I'm going to show you some of the tool options that are available here on the left hand side. First, click on move or press M on your keyboard. This allows you to move your model on the X, Y and Z axes. Click scale or press S on your keyboard and then hold down shift while dragging a point to change the scale uniformly. If you hover over a tool, you'll get the keyboard shortcut for each one. You can also rotate on the X, Y and Z axes. You can place on face, which allows you to change the orientation of your model by clicking on the face that you want placed on the print bed. The next tool is the cut tool, and this allows you to cut your model along a plane. For more details on how to use this tool, including how to add connectors, check out some of my other videos on this playlist. The paint on supports tool is used to work with models that have overhangs. When you click slice now, you'll get a message if there are print stability issues which require supports. There are a number of options here, including automatic painting, which automatically adds blue lines where the supports will be added. Keep in mind that the default support style is set to grid. To change this, go to print settings, support material, and choose organic from the drop down list. Click slice now to see how your model will print with supports. Organic supports are new to Prusa Slicer 2.6 and really change the way we can add and remove supports from our finished prints. For more information on the paint on supports tool options, please check out some of my other videos on this playlist. Seam painting can be used when printing cylindrical objects and best explored when you're a more confident 3D printer. And the last tool on the left hand side is the measure tool, which is also new to 2.6 and allows you to measure parts of your model and scale accordingly. For more details on using this tool, check out some of my other videos in this playlist. Looking at the top line options, we can add a file by clicking on plus, remove the file by clicking minus, click the waste bin to clear everything. If you have multiple models on your print bed, you can click arrange and the software will arrange the position of each model for optimum printing. And you can also copy and paste models and add instance or remove. An STL file acts as one, even if it's made up of multiple pieces. To work with the individual pieces separately, you can split them. Split to object separates them and will drop parts onto the print bed if they are floating in midair and split to parts will separate them but keep them in place. I suggest you explore each to see which option suits you best. Use search to find a specific setting in your software and variable layer height if you need to change the layer height at a particular part of your model during print. Variable layer height is best explored when you're a more confident 3D printer. And of course, you can undo and redo. There are different views in Prusa Slicer, simple, advanced and expert. Each view will give you access to different tools and settings. Best to stay with simple until you develop your skills. Under printing settings, you can choose the quality of your print. I always start with draft at 0.3 millimeters and only increase this to a better quality when needed. Keep in mind, you may not notice a difference between a model printed at 0.5 versus 0.1 millimeter layer height. It all depends on the kind of model you're printing. Under filament, you can select from the list. If the filament you are using isn't listed, you can add or remove filament. This brings you into the configuration settings. For more information and details on the configuration settings, check out my videos walking you through setting up Prusa Slicer on Windows and Mac. Make sure you have the correct printer selected from the list here. If the printer you're using isn't listed, you can add and remove printers. And this will again bring you into the configuration settings. Keep in mind that some of the changes you make using the tools on the left hand side of the screen can also be done on the right under object manipulation. You can move, scale and change size. And I often prefer making specific changes in these windows. Remember, when you make any changes to your model in Prusa Slicer, you must click slice now to see the updated slicing preview. You can see how long your model will take to print as well as other details about the printing. 
Use your slider to show how your model will print layer by layer. You can see what the colours represent using the legend at the top. Feel free to switch from preview to editor view to access your model in different forms. And finally, export G-code will allow you to send your file to your printer. Whether it's using an SD card or wirelessly, the G-code file contains a list of commands that your printer needs to do its job. So that's an overview on Prusa Slicer 2.6 and some of its new tools. Thanks for watching. Happy printing.